So today I'm going to be doing a haul slash unboxing video. I feel like I haven't done one of these in a really long time and that's because I haven't been getting enough new books at the same time to really justify doing a haul. Every time I've gotten a new book it's been like one book every like few months like weirdly sporadically and then I read the book and then I talk about it in a wrap up and then I can't haul it because I feel weird doing that. So I'm yeah, it's just been really awkward. So I finally have like a decent size pile of books. I have a few that I bought, a few that I'm going to um, unbox for you, and then two that I got from the library. So I'm going to just be going through these. So the first book I got, and I don't really know anything about it, but it's called The Orchardist by Amanda Coplin. And this is something that my mom gave to me because she read it, and it's very different from anything else that I read ever. The style of writing, at least what my mom has told me, is that it's very like thick in description and like very character development focused, and the plot doesn't really sound like it's not an adventure book or anything. It's just like this man who lives on this like orchard that he owns, and then like these different people that he encounters through his life or something like that. So it's very different than what I'd normally read. And it's obviously not YA. So I don't know if I'm going to enjoy this or not, but I'm going to read it, so yeah. Next I got Dust and Decay by Jonathan Mayberry, and this is the second book in the Rotten Ruin series. And technically this isn't mine, uh, although I did buy it. I bought it for my brother because Rotten Ruin um, is actually his book. He owns the copy that I read, and um, I got him this book for his birthday, which was a few days ago. But I know that when he's done, I'm going to end up reading it anyway, so I'm hauling it because I am going to end up reading this at some point because I really did like Rotten Ruin and um, I'm just going to continue with the zombie books. Next I got two books from the library and I'm just going to go through these. The first is Joyride by Anna Banks and I actually am reading this now. I'm about halfway through. I really wanted to get this because I do a segment on my blog where I pick my favorite new released YA covers and this uh, cover was on there and then I saw this at the library and I'm like, oh I should just read it because I've already seen this around and I like featured it on my blog. So I should read it. So I decided to pick it up. And it's very interesting. I'll talk about it more in my wrap-up, and if I do a review on this, I'll definitely talk about it more. But it's it's kind of follows the same sort of Boy Meets Girl sort of contemporary YA romance, but it also has deeper elements in it, which are also very interesting. But I will definitely talk about this in my wrap-up for the month. And the other book I got from the library, which I'm super excited about, is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick. So if you watched my other videos, you know that I recently finished um, her other book, what is it called? My Life Next Door. And I loved that book so much, I gave it five stars. And I was just thinking how much I really want to read her other books, and then this was at the library, and I'm like, I'm just gonna get this and read it. And I'm sure I'm gonna love it, because I loved the other one, and I'm really excited. And this cover is just so cute. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited about this one. So now I have an unboxing! <laughs> There are two books in here, and I know what they are because I ordered them, so this isn't going to be a surprise. I haven't done an unboxing since last July. I had a really big box, though. I ordered, like, ten books or something like that. But, um, yeah, I know what this is. It's very exciting. Um, it's not YA. I'll give you a hint there. But, which is odd for me because I usually just read YA. But this is an exciting book. I know what it is. Oh my gosh. You see it. Man, this doesn't want to open. It's packaged well. Look, you can see him. Okay. Here it is. First book is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. You can probably guess what the other one is at this point. Um, so I've read To Kill a Mockingbird. I just don't own a copy of it. And this was like $4 on Amazon. So I'm like, I'm just going to buy it because I don't really own a copy, but I read this in freshman year of uh, high school, and I really loved it. That was like my favorite um, English class ever. We did like To Kill a Mockingbird and uh, Romeo and Juliet, and it was like the best class in the world. And I loved To Kill a Mockingbird. It's one of the only like classic novels that I've really enjoyed. Usually I don't like them at all, which is sad, but I love this book, and it, it was just, it was so good. And so, the other book in here, oh my gosh, it's so pretty, is Ghost at a Watchman by Harper Lee. Because when I heard that she had her other book coming out, which she actually wrote first, like she wrote this before To Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, when I heard that this was being published, I was like, well, okay, I'm going to buy it immediately. And so I knew I was going to buy this this summer. And now I'm so happy, and it's so pretty, oh my gosh. 
This is so much prettier in person than on like the pictures on Amazon. I think it takes, yeah, it's from the point of view of 26 year old Jean Louise Finch, which is Scout from the first one. Oh, look at the pretty little signature on the, oh my gosh. Okay, well I've been very excited about these coming. And look, here they are together. I kind of wish they were both the same style slash size, but when I ordered this, it said I could get this little tiny one for four bucks and then together it would be like 20 bucks for both of these. And I was like, well, I should just do that. So there you have it. That was my haul slash unboxing with lots of fun books. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the end of the month when I hopefully do a wrap up, including a lot of these books. Hopefully I actually get to them. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit subscribe. I'm also on Twitter where I talk about books because why not? What else would I talk about? And I also have a blog where I talk about other things like writing and publishing so you can find me there as well. So yeah, thank you again for watching my video and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!